Would you look at that beautiful doggy? Hey there, Chops. <laughs> Wonderful view, too. Good to be home. You know, Thanksgiving week, so be home for it. For all the fun times and shenanigans and times with that wild nut. Got a unboxing I need to do in a little bit. Um, so we might be dealing with the pumpkins. <laughs> some fun to do with them because, you know, last year we had some um, fireworks. So it's in the same, I guess, category as them. So, <laughs> but I need to do that in a little bit. I got something else too. Uh, you, if you've seen them, I watch Google a lot. And they use the meter for uh, doing temperatures on meat. So I was able to finally get one. So interested to try it out. I'm gonna try it on the turkey, see how it goes. So I'm gonna get set up probably and do that unboxing and show y'all what we got. Choppy man, help me. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> oh, I need to change his clothes for y'all too. So I gotta do that. So. We'll get set up and I'll get stuff changed. Well, I was gonna film me changing Choppy, but he's wanting to play instead of change his clothes. So we'll go ahead and open this box up for y'all. See, the pumpkin spine it because he knows, knows the demise that's coming. <laughs> there we go. Invoice paid for good old Tannerite. <laughs> if y'all know what Tannerite is, it's exploding targets. So, planning on Either open up the pig or sitting beside it or something to let it explode. Because <laughs> last year, you know, we saw we put the little mortar shell inside of it and blew it up a little bit, but we were looking for a little more destruction this time <laughs> so boom there we go <laughs> tannerite this is the brand mixing container so we'll mix in this and then there's the little charge so you'll mix and put it in the container and Boom. <laughs> so that that should be fun. It says pl place it at least a hundred yards. So you'll have to be on out pretty far. I'm trying to think where to put it. But we'll we'll figure it out where to explode him. Maybe on out that way, but it maybe by that there's a stump on out there where there's nothing in the way. So, <laughs> bye bye, Mr. Pumpkin. <laughs> and hopefully, we'll have more pumpkins. So, we'll see. <laughs> well, let's see if I can get choppy changed again. Maybe I can get it on camera. If not, I'll get the picture of him afterwards. So we'll see y'all in a few, either changing him or getting picture of him changed. <laughs> hey there, y'all. So since we're gonna be exploding the pumpkin, I gotta make sure my Good old rifle here is still in 
decent, decent, decent sighting. It should be, because I killed the deer last year with it, so I don't think it's been bumped or anything. So, there we go. Got a little, little rocket in there, so try to get steady here, because this table's a little wobbly, so it may take me a minute, so bear with me. <laughs> Flip the hat around. It bumps my scope. There's one. Well, alrighty, there's the group. That one was definitely me. I, I pulled for sure. I'm not really technically a righty. I'm really used to be a lefty, but can't use my left eye because it's, you can't see as well out of it because of chemo and everything. But I can use my right one still, so it's, it's okay. And I knew it'd be a little bit off because I've got it zeroed for 100, and that was only about uh, maybe. 40, maybe, maybe 40 yards. So I knew it was gonna be a little off on the up and down, but that one was definitely a pull. But those were pretty decent. That's two shots, almost keyhole. That's two shots. So still pulled a little bit right, but that's definitely probably cause you can see this table's a little wobbly. So I was trying to stay as still as I could. So I think pushed on out to a hundred yards because that's what it says to shoot the targets at and i think i'll be all right so we'll see if i miss i know i can probably pull a little bit more left because i was favoring a little bit to the right but it definitely could be squeezing a turn just a touch so in this table and i, I ain't gonna admit i'm the I'm not the best shot in the world anyway. <laughs> so, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and head on back to the house. And uh, I don't know what I'll do the rest of the day and the following days before Thanksgiving, but y'all probably know. And y'all can probably see where Choppy is. He was in the truck. He was hollering and upset because he wasn't out there with me when I was shooting because he loves loves the boom of the gun. <laughs> he was just ah, when I was walking to get the target. But I think we'll be all right. And those are pretty neat targets. I like those too. The ones that when you hit, it throws a different color so you can kind of see where you are. And y'all like my homemade, uh, I hope it's in the frame. There we go. I don't even know if I was. Maybe I was. But yeah, I like those targets because when they hit, you see the splash on them better. And the, my homemade, good old homemade <laughs> target holder. We had the old fan that died on us. And I was like, I need, I want, I need something to hold targets. And I was like, I think I can cut the middle out. Put me a few strings on, then there we go. <laughs> and then poke the holes and put it in that way I can move it wherever I need to. So, <laughs> redneck ingenuity <laughs> on using crap you already have. But anyway, I'm gonna run to the house, do something with the rest of the day. Like I said, I don't know. Y'all will be with me the next following days up to thanksgiving might do some more stuff and deer season well it's already started bow season but uh gun season starts soon so if one steps out and i can get a opportunity maybe i can have a deer as well so but we'll see but i'm gonna run on to the house so i'll see y'all in the next clip whatever it may be 
cooking or something or messing with chops. So we think chops. We think buddy. Right there y'all. Next day of the adventures of leading up to good old Thanksgiving. Not much on the agenda today besides looking for deer just in case they come out. And then I cleaned up the cooler today that we'll be brining the turkey in. So got that done. Saw two deer, just no luck on being able to get them yet. So maybe I'll get a, another opportunity. It'd be nice to have some more deer because I don't have too much <laughs> left. Because once I get it, I'm like, <laughs> I'm gobbling down because it's delicious. And of course, Chops loves it. He loves the, oh, peeing. Loves the boom of the gun and then chasing them. Go sniff where they were, so. But anyways, I'm gonna keep enjoying this good cool air. Oh, it's nice. Like I said, fat boy fall. It's really probably, it's, it's, is it? I think it's winter now. I don't know. Never can tell in the south. Cause it might be 70 tomorrow. <laughs> oh, but anyways, I'll catch y'all in the next clip, whatever it may be. Adventures that me and Chops are getting, man. So, we'll see y'all. Well, hey there, y'all. Another day, an uneventful day of just relaxing on the old homestead down here in the whole country southern woods with Chops. He's Right there, y'all can't see him right now, but he's peering through the slots in the porch. <laughs> Probably waiting for a squirrel. It's, yeah, a few more hours. Or, well, no, about 30 minutes or so. It's about 3 o'clock. So, about an hour and a half or so until dark. They'll start moving pretty good. Day or two, so I'll be keeping my eye out. <laughs> What do you think, Jops? But yeah, another, just another day of chilling. The only thing I really did today was got the turkey out and started the brine process with it. It still froze, but it'll take it a while to unthaw, and then it's gonna it's in ice water too, so it'll just stay in the brine, and I'll keep adding ice to it to keep it cold, cold, because usually when I get it out, the day of Thanksgiving, I've still got a little ice within the cavity, so it always stays good and cold, so. And with my brine, I just did the same last year, if y'all saw it, pretty close to the same. Brown sugar, salt, uh, some poultry seasoning, and then like uh, onion powder and garlic powder, so. That's pretty well it. Just dissolve that in water, mix it good, get your salt, and, Sugar dissolved, cooled it off, pour it over it, and then pour you some ice and water to cover it on up, and that's it. So that's all we've done today. So I would cook some stewed cabbage too. It's in there, still cooking away, staying warm. It's always good. It's just cabbage, onion, some tomatoes, salt, pepper onion powder, garlic powder, stick of butter, and just let it cook for a while, stew, and get happy together. I've had some corn and uh, okra, be a good little succotash, so, and been good too, but that'll be good. What do you think, Chops? Y'all can't see him, he's right here, holding his little ball. I'll turn it to him right fast. There you are. <laughs> so, good day. <laughs> Just hang out with Chops, always a good day. So, I don't know about the pumpkin, if it's gonna make it, it's pretty, pretty rotted. <laughs> so I don't know if we got any more to explode or not, but we'll see, so. 
I'm just gonna sit out here and chill and hang with chops. So I'll catch y'all later. I think he's ready. <laughs> ready to get the mail? He's ready. <laughs> hey there, y'all. Another day on the good old homestead. Another non-eventful day. This is our excitement for the day. <laughs> Getting the mail. But it did, uh, you know, I said I got the meter a little meat probe for cooking so I had it and tried it out today just to see how it worked and stuff I'd set it up <coughs> not too bad to set up just follow the instructions and stuff but it's pretty neat does your ambient temperature and then uh, your internal of what your meat is and then you can set your uh, target or not target or whatever it's called whatever they <laughs> called on your time uh, the, can't think sorry brain fart on your temperature that you want to reach so it's, it's pretty neat pretty easy to run out pretty neat too so I enjoyed it it gives you the your like estimated time of when it'll be done too I thought that was pretty neat to see because I've never really used internal thermometers besides just checking it and uh, seeing where I'm at periodically through a cook so it was pretty neat I did a meatloaf with it, it did really good I went a little bit over it because I'd lost track of time because I was doing other stuff. You can set alarms though and stuff, but I hadn't, I needed to. But it was still really, really good. So I'm excited to use it on the big old turkey. We always do a pretty big turkey for Thanksgiving because there's a lot of us and we like to eat. So <laughs> kind of had to have a big turkey. We good that way, Chops? Looks like it. All right. Pull on out. Probably not gonna be somebody coming on these roads. <laughs> but, never know. Cause when someone does come through here, a lot of times they're, they're flying, so. Any mail? Got a little mail, don't want chops. What do you think, buddy? You just love, love to ride. <laughs> you looked a little shocked. <laughs> Turn her around and head back down. I know, I know, I don't have on my seatbelt. Jobs don't either, but we bypassed that. We went ahead and plugged up the seatbelt thing because it won't, or it won't ding on us because he's weighty enough for that thing. Someone's sitting in the seat. <laughs> you about ready to run? Let me let you out to run. Let you out. About right in here. Ready? All right. Come on. There you go. Ready to run. <laughs> Good and ride and run. 
Let him go. <laughs> Pee on everything. <laughs> Checking for rabbits. Cause y'all know he's caught a few, so he's always gotta check. <laughs> Our excitement. <laughs> that old jughead. He's still chilling, waiting for something out to come out so he can shoot it with his little baby gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no good old ride and run. He loves it. He loves riding anyway too. But supposed to get to stretch his legs and pee on everything, <laughs> sniff everything on the way back in. He always loves that. But anyway, so that was what I did today. Nothing much again. <laughs> Just enjoying the time down here and the weather and time with chops and then got to play with a meter and see how it works so it's gonna be fun to get to use it with the turkey so hopefully i can nail my temperature is really good with it and then i've got my javelin pro as well to kind of check as well to see where i'm at throughout the cook so i'll probably set my temperature probably a little under 165 so i can kind of get ahead of the game and maybe be checking along so i'm right on with my temperatures and stuff so i know we got a big list of foods i got a i think i got a picture Of what all we're doing menu wise because we we always talk about what we're gonna cook and stuff so we had made out a menu <laughs> so i'll try to find that picture and throw in for y'all so you can see what all we're doing and then the day of i'll try to take pictures or video of everything for y'all too so but anyway good day of doing nothing again but Spend time with chops and then mom and dad. But anyways, I'll check y'all on the next clip of whatever I'm doing. Probably not much today unless the deer walks out. <laughs> but anyways, I'll see y'all. Well, hey there, y'all. So as you can see, I'm in the shed here. So this morning, good old Thanksgiving Eve morning, I was checking outside like I always do. And as you can see, Someone made a mistake and walked out. <laughs> so I'll be having a deer to clean right here. I won't do a video on that because YouTube and stuff, I don't think they like that. So unfortunately I won't have that, but it's just a little buck, but I don't care. I'm a meat hunter, whatever walks out, you're dying. <laughs> as long as you don't have spots, you're dying. <laughs> so, cause I'm, I'm just for the meat, big deer, little deer, it don't matter. You're just gonna be eight, because that's what I'm hunting for. So, I'm gonna get this cleaned up. This was an added task to the day, but a welcomed one. The only thing I gotta do today is uh, get the eggs fixed up and then mess around and get the dressing made or stuffing for other folks. So, we'll, we'll get to cleaning. <laughs> See y'all. Well, hey there, y'all, back with you. So done, end of the day, resting now. Takes a while processing and getting the deer right. So I'm out here chilling and literally chilling because it's cool out here, but I like it like that. Makes me breathe better. But got the deer processed and done. 
put up in the freezer. And then I got my eggs done. I can throw in a picture of them for y'all. So I always make extra just in case one decides to crack. And then two, one of my little nieces loves the uh, filling <laughs> the extra yellow. So I always have extra of it. <laughs> but another good day leading up to good old Thanksgiving. Be a good day, Lord willing. Time with family. So new chops running all about out there. <laughs> Probably had to go pee. But anyways, yeah, got the turkey brine too. It's been in there for a couple of days now. So get it out, dry it off good. Probably spray it down with a little cooking spray, season it up and throw it in the oven and let it ride. So that's all I got planned for tomorrow. Just getting it cooked and then the, and getting the dressing as well done. So I'll have to get up fairly early because it's a pretty big bird, 21 pounder. Get it baked off and out of the oven resting and while it's resting, we can go ahead and warm up the dressing or stuffing as some folks say. But anyways, I'll catch y'all tomorrow probably with pictures of food and hopefully some fireworks and blowing up pumpkin too. But I think there's some rain in the forecast, so I don't know. But anyways, be a fun day anyway. So see y'all. Hey, Choppy. What you doing, boy? You ready for a turkey? I am too. Hey there, y'all. So, good morning. Good turkey day. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> so, got up pretty early. Got the turkey all prepped and going. So, it's in the oven now. Got it on about 7 or so. So, he'll be in there a couple hours and do it at 350. Covered for a while with some tinfoil. And then, I'll take my tinfoil off and brown it and probably rotate it around. So, brown evenly but ready for a good old thanksgiving choppy going to search for something so i'll check back with y'all when we got more food out or whatever else blowing up a pumpkin hopefully because it's not raining right now so we shall see <laughs> see y'all well hey there y'all back with you after all the feast because <laughs> man it was a feast and I'll throw in pictures of all the food while I'm chatting here with y'all. But good time as always with family and spending time with them, chatting with them, laughing and cutting up and everything else. So it's a good time. Unfortunately, we couldn't do the fireworks or ten rat pumpkin <laughs> blowing it up. Unfortunately, due to all the rain and stuff. So, we just opted out of that. But tomorrow, if it's not raining, I'll throw, try to throw in a clip of, at the end of the video, of just throwing <laughs> the pumpkin. So, maybe I can do that. Fingers crossed that we can get it blown up. <laughs> I want to see what it does. I won't be near it, but y'all will be near it with the camera. <laughs> but I won't be near it, so I won't get pumpkin guts all over <laughs> me. But it should should be a big boom. If you've seen any video, videos of Tannerite, <laughs> it, it blows up. But good food, turkey, of course, and mashed potatoes, some like pearl onion deals that my sister makes. Um, she did a Brussels sprout like salad deal. We had um, cornbread and white beans. Uh, what else? A bunch of stuff. Macaroni and cheese. Uh, what else? Desserts, we had like cheesecake and cookies. And, uh, puppy chow, check mix. Uh, it's hard to remember all that we had because there's so much stuff. Oh yeah, mashed potatoes, taties, 
<laughs> mashed potatoes. I'm drunk on food, on turkey. Uh, gravy, the giblet and uh, brown gravy. Mm, what else? Potato casserole. Dressing or stuffing for some folks. Mm, what else? There's a bunch of stuff. <laughs> like I said, I lost track of it all, but I have pictures of everything within, so y'all can see it. I had posted a picture on my community tab of just showing the leg, tempting you with a little leg. <laughs> Cause that looks, leg looked prettier than my leg. So I figured y'all'd like seeing it over mine. <laughs> oh, funny. But anyway, great day as always. Good time with family and stuff. So wish y'all could have been here with me too. But uh, news about the uh, tumors. I had the appointments in Birmingham. You know, I did the video with it and went down there got to see the doctor and all really good guy nice guy did a good examination and interview and <clears throat> and no clinical trials right now he said but they have my information and stuff so if any come up we'll be <clears throat> on the list so but they do have a treatment plan uh drawn up for me whenever the time may come lord willing maybe not if i <laughs> like to hold off not have to do it but rather do it rather do it oh well whatever but that's the news with that i said i'd keep y'all updated with it but that's what's going on but didn't have to think about that today because i was just blessed today with family and a lot of food <laughs> Yo, oh, good time. But I hope y'all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I pray you did. Pray you had a good time with your loved ones, spending time with them. Cause it's always a blessing. Don't ever, don't ever take it for granted. But anyways, thank y'all for staying with me through this one. I know it was a long one, but hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> so y'all like, share, and subscribe. If you haven't already, and when you do, hey, welcome on in to the Head to Tail family. We'll love you and welcome you on in. So I'll catch y'all on the next one. Here we go. Did you hear that? Fuck it is gone. Oh my god. That's all that's left. I think it worked.